Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we're going to work on finding the exact values of sine, cosine, and tangent when we know the sides of a right triangle. So, of course, the key to doing this is knowing what sides are related to form the proper ratios. If you have a right triangle and say you're looking at a trigonometric function of a specific angle, in this case theta, then these identities over here tell you uh, what sides you should uh, relate to one another. For example, if I want to do sine of theta, I need to take the opposite side and put it over the hypotenuse. If I want to do cosine, I would take the adjacent side and put it over the hypotenuse. And if I want to do tangent, I'd take the opposite and put it over the adjacent side. So it's actually a fairly straightforward process, but let's go ahead and see some examples uh, so you can see how you can uh, easily find the exact value of these trigonometric functions. So up here I have my triangle, and I'm really curious what is the value of sine of theta. So I'm thinking about this angle in the bottom left corner, and I'm going to take the opposite side and put it over the hypotenuse. So sine would simply be 5 thirteenths. Now moving on, for cosine, I'm thinking about that same angle, and now I'm thinking about the side that's adjacent to it, and putting that over 13. So 12 over 13. All right, one more. We want to find tangent. That'd be the opposite side over the adjacent side. So we have 5 twelfths, nice and quick. Now, one thing you want to be aware of is that these trigonometric functions really do look at a specific angle. So even if uh, I have a triangle like this, I can still find the trigonometric functions. But notice how I'm looking for this angle, theta, in the upper corner now. It changes what sides are adjacent and which sides are opposite. So it does uh, change what values we're actually getting. Let's give it a try for this one. So here I want to figure out sine of theta, which is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Since I'm talking about this angle here, I'm really thinking about the opposite side being the 16. So this would be 16 over 65. In that same fashion, if I want to find the cosine of this angle, 63 is my adjacent side, and I can put that over 65. So 63 over 65. And of course, one last thing we can find is tangent. That'd be our opposite over the adjacent, or 16 over 63. So be careful when you're trying to find the exact trigonometric values for one of these right triangles. Make sure you identify that angle first. Uh, that way you can easily figure out what is your adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.